What's up guys? Nice and early, nice and early. Uh, Dan, Rasta Runner, and I are out here and we're about to do our morning workout. I know a lot of people have questions about my workouts. I know a lot of people probably wonder how I train now with minimal equipment in this building just essentially on turf. So we've decided to shoot uh, some of it. The best thing to start with and one of the most important things to start with and something I wish I would have started with my entire life is a really solid dynamic warm-up. So we're gonna share our dynamic warm-up with you, maybe give you guys some insight behind it. What do you say? You say always, you say let's talk about it? I said, all right, let's talk about it. All right, let's talk about it. <laughs> First, gotta remove my shoes. Second. Did I throw you off because I was wearing shoes today? Because I never wear shoes when I train. You really don't. You know yeah. what? I, uh, second thing I noticed here, I, I really like these new uh, camo everyday joggers. Yeah, they're I really, really good. I didn't think I would wear a pair of camo pants. but You got the blue ones on. But I, I like the ones you're wearing. And I actually got those at the same time I got the navy ones because yeah. they just look cool. When I first put them on, I didn't really have the confidence. All right, what are we doing here? Right, I so wish my form was better here. <laughs> Shit, I feel really good doing it, but it's a lot of balance. Yeah, so what I really like about this one is we get a single leg stability move on that one side, but we're also getting a quad stretch on the opposite side. So anytime we're doing these dynamic movements, we're trying to mimic some of the types of moves that we're going to be doing in the training session to come. So that's kind of what I focus on when I'm, when I'm lining these out for you. And you, I'm doing a modification here where my arm's going up front. Yeah, exactly. So, so this is actually a progression, is following the hand from the toe and then keeping your eyes on your hand as you come out in front of you. It's a little bit more challenging than just focusing on the turf as you come back up. Yeah, so this next one, like there's a couple big things that we're doing here. Now, notice with, with your toe, you're coming up high up on the toe and then you're getting a high pause. We're focused on ankle stability on that one right there. And then a little bit of a dynamic movement to set us up for some bigger dynamic moves later on. This is one of my favorites. I feel so good in my abductors, man. Yeah. Absolutely. And I normally do this the length of the turf. Mm -hmm. um, so I normally do this a lot more than I was doing it there, but I was trying to give you guys a good look at it and another part that when you're anytime you're warming up especially in the hips remember that it's a ball joint okay so it moves 360 degrees so we got to get it front and back side to side and then also in a rotational pattern like we just were i remember not being able to do these ones oh yeah yeah this is one of those like hip rotational movements this is a, a leg cradle and then adding a single leg stability element to it as well with the squat you know, if you're a beginner with this or, you know, you feel like your stability isn't where you want it, you can always keep your arms out in front like you are right there. It'll really help to kind of stabilize you. Wait. Even though you don't need I it. I don't know that was a beginner move. I thought that... <laughs> no, no, no. The arms out in front is like okay. the, the beginner part. This is not a beginner movement at all. Okay. The, the, the modification for this one would just be to remove the squat and then just pull the ankle up high. Yeah, and that's what I did for a while is I would pull the ankle up, hold the ankle... And yeah. then like sort of flap or pulse my knee. Yep, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ooh, hip closers. Yeah, man. I really like this one too. This really just works the hip joint in a rotational pattern, but also gets like that glute medius muscle warmed up, which is also a hip stabilizer. And it's on like the outside pocket of your hip. Now, what I'm picturing here is ideally I would have a hurdle there or mm -hmm. a box or something. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure you pick your foot up and go over it, right? Mm -hmm. It's if you picture something there that you're going over, that'll help out a lot. The other big thing is while we're, we're opening at the hip, we want to make sure the shoulders stay square as well. That way the hip isn't compensating for the shoulder rotation. I'm going to work on that a little bit. I like reviewing game film. Yeah, man. You know? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. These are all movements that I wish I did a very long time ago. Like my body operates so much better. Well, Even just this balance right here, like... Yeah, that's nice. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That, I'm proud of that little ankle. Yeah. That's... <laughs> that ankle, that core, everything, man. And you'll find out, like, if you just start doing this, when you get right about here, you're going to start shaking and spinning. And, yeah. Uh, and that's okay. You know, fight it, and it'll slowly get better. All of these dynamic movements, they're, they're rooted in fundamental movement patterns. And, and really, that's what we're trying to train here. We're trying to get single leg stability on that right leg. But then as you reach forward, you're pulling that left side. <laughs> I just kick you right in the ass. You're, you're pulling that left psoas back. So we're getting hip flexion on one side and hip extension on the other side. And, and really, like, being able to have independence there between 
the sides of your body is so important. Now, one of the things that I've noticed in real life, right? Um, if you guys know my back is, is trash. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Look at that rhythm. Good feeling good. Yeah, nice transition from side to side. Feeling like an athlete. <laughs> um, this is an A skip, by the way. A skips. Which is also a progression because we have A, B, C, right? Correct. Yep. Um, but one of the things I've noticed is in doing this, it's helped me out in every other aspect of life. Um, I was on a ladder the other day getting something, and I remember thinking, like, wow, I feel so safe on this ladder yeah, because my balance is there. Yeah. So this is the B skip added to the A, so it's the A to the B. Yeah, yeah. So I remember we did that hip opener. This is That hip opener warmed us up for this movement right here. Now, here's something to, to think about, too. I like to keep more of, like, the plyometric movements for later on in the dynamic warm-up yeah. once you kind of got some of those muscles loosened up. Yeah, a lot of those movements, like I wouldn't be able to start with this. Right, right. But because we stretched out the ankles, because we did a bunch of stuff, all of a sudden I, yep. I can move like this. Now, in addition to being on a ladder, uh, I fell off my snowmobile. Um, Dan and I both fell off of our snowmobiles, I think at the same time. And hers rolled pinned on top of her. And I remember uh, everyone there was like, whoa, how did you do that? Because... I like dismounted my snowmobile and got to hers so fast. Mm -hmm. And people were like, how did you move like that? And I was like, I guess I've been training for this. It, these movements and this style of training set me up for such a beautiful life. Well, and you think about how many people skip this stuff just yeah. because of uh, yeah. the time or, you know. It, and I think when you're younger, you can. Right. Right. But right. as you get older, this stuff, these skills go so far away. So this is actually one of my favorites uh, we just did, which was the, I think I'm going to do it here. Um, this rotational lunge. Yeah, so it's a broad jump and then that rotational lunge in there. Absolutely. That rotational, I feel like a, a damn ninja, dude. Yeah. Like I feel really, like, I know I don't, I'm not showing it there, <laughs> but I feel so cool doing that move. All right, guys, that's it. Um, we've been getting a lot of questions about the training. Uh, Dan's been showing up nice and early every single morning to, to sort of put me through some things. Um, and, and we figured we'd share some. We encourage you guys to do these things. Follow Rasta Runner on Instagram. Um, he shares a lot of tips and tricks. If you scale way back on his page, all of this stuff is on there, yeah. broken down really, really well. It's, I, I love the formatting of it. It's a really fun page, very inspiring page to follow. Appreciate you guys. Hope you found it helpful. See you.